Hey guys, well this is Tech One here from Advanced Tech Pro and today we're going to be teaching you how to do a little bit of art using GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. It's a freeware and I am so glad that it is. So guys, let's get right into it. You got your GIMP. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a a glow tube around any picture. And let's start first. Open your image. As you see, I'll just be opening a laptop image I he have here on my desktop. Now as you can see it's a JPEG and I really want to change this into a transparent image for I want to create a background for it. So to do that, to your image you add an alpha channel. Add in an alpha channel when delete when you delete anything on the picture allows the background to be transparent. You select your color too, and since the background is white, you just select it, control X and delete the background, control shift A and you deselect that. Lovely. So we have taken away the background. Create a new layer. Make sure it's transparent guys. Click OK. Put down. And we're going to create a background for this. I already have my foreground and background colors selected here. So I'm going to select my blend tool and I'm going to change this to radial. And from the center, let's scroll out a little bit. You do that by holding control. From the center, click hold control so you don't go off key and there's it we have ourselves a background I really don't like this color so I'll swap them and I'll do it over uh, god even worse let's make it linear from top to bottom lovely now that looks a little better nice so we're going to first add a little glow on this bit here so I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to duplicate it here lovely make this one invisible and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to this filters blur Gaussian blur 15 enter ok These are unnecessary steps that I'm taking though, so it's not necessary to do what I'm doing there. Merge down, merge down, lovely. Alright, now to get into what I actually wanted to teach you. What you need to do is you have to select your path tool and from any location in the pit here, you start with your path tool and you click, you drag, you click, you drag, you click, you drag, you click, you drag, you click. Lovely, that's it. It may look retarded but it's just for a test. Just an example guys. Next click edit, stroke path, stroke with paintbrush. And according to what size paintbrush you have selected, that is the size of stroke you'll get. Right now I have a 19 selected. But if you're using a smaller picture, you could use a smaller brush. We're going to stroke that. Now when we stroke it, you're not going to see much because of the background. Next what we like to do is to go filters. Make sure that you... Oh my goodness. Control Z. Um, create a new layer. My goodness. I almost led you astray create a new layer then you stroke we don't want to de destroy our lovely laptop picture now do you? make sure that you have this layer selected and you go filters and you're going to do a to alpha logo and neon the background color is not really necessarily what we are putting our mind to is the glue color I've already selected purple because I'm a fanatic for purple and how thick you want it is by the pixels. I leave it default for now. Lovely. Now this is taking its time. Now if you were to get something like this, don't be afraid. This is normal. You haven't done anything stupid. Right click on the background and delete that layer. We don't need that. Right. So this is what we have here. 
It may seem looking a little gay to you, but for now that's the beginning. You merge it down. You select your eraser tool. What you need to do is erase where you want it to look as though the tube is going behind the image. For example, we want it to look as though from here we're going behind. So I'm going to zoom in. And delete that. So we got that lovely look as though the tube went behind the laptop. And I'm going to scroll in again to make sure I got the edge of the laptop correctly so as to make a more professional look. Get in the other purple. Lovely. So you do that for all. I'll be back soon. Alright, so you can see it looks a little more professional here. Something that I do like to add also is a lighting at the end of my glow tube. So I'm going to create a new layer here. New layer. I'm going to go to filters, light and shadow and I'm going to put a supernova according to the color. I leave my supernova default. Yeah, right. Haha. <laughs> I'm a purple fanatic, you forgot. Okay, and I want. Alright, that's just good enough for me. Click OK and allow that to work its way out. Press M for the move tool. And I'm going to move my supernova into the location I want it. Lovely. Now you can make your supernova larger. I just wanted an ending. Select my text tool, have my text selected, and I'm going to do a little writing in what else? Purple. Tech one, move two. Then I'm going to take my Rotate tool, rotate it a bit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Duplicate it. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. Merge down, merge down. Now this is a GIMP that I'm using that I don't have shortcuts for because it's a portable GIMP. If you hit Control M, that would be a merge down for all. And you just file, save as, whatever name, I name mine is lappy.jpg, desktop. Save, export, 100%, save default, save. As you can see, it's the first time I'm using this GIMP. That's it, guys. Do hope that helps you a lot.